Yep. And you said it, it, it shows your truth. Well, is it truth? It's your truth. Is it your truth, not divine truth. Not God's truth. It only shows you your truth. Yeah. But your truth at the soul level, at the emotional level, not what you think is the truth. Right? There's a big difference between those two things. Right? What you think and what you feel are totally different to each other. Okay, just, just while we're on the pendulum, I wasn't going to bring it up. Yeah, okay. I couldn't get it off track. But, um, I use a pendulum quite a lot yeah. in my work. But I, I often wonder sometimes, it works for me at work in a healing situation. It tells me a lot of crap when I'm not doing that. But, yeah. um, I just wonder what it is. I, I just hold that in my hand, I have my uh, palm chakra. Yeah. What is it that, I mean, it's very real, it's very accurate in, in my work situation. Mm -hmm. Is that a spirit um, working with that or something? No, it's your energy at the soul level working with that. So it's the emotion at the soul level working with that. Now, it can, you can actually work, you can ask a spirit to connect to it and the spirit will then work with it. So a lot of people, I, I don't know how many of you are mediums yet or not, a lot of people do it with a pendulum first, <laughs> like they, they, they start taking an interest in spirit communication with a pendulum first. You've got to be very careful though. Because you don't know what spirit's connecting to the pendulum. What spirit's going to connect to the pendulum? The spirit who's the closest to your emotional condition. That's the spirit who's going to connect to the pendulum. Whether you ask for someone else or not, the law of attraction is in place. God's laws work 100% of the time. So, can I, can I just. So, what that means is if I have a heap of unworthy feelings within me, what kind of spirit am I going to generally attract? Well, probably a spirit who wants to use my unworthiness mm. for their own benefit, right? Manipulate. Wants to manipulate me. Let's say I have anger. What kind of spirit am I going to attract? Probably a spirit who wants to manipulate that anger to get something for themselves. Right? How can they get anything for themselves? Um, there's, a, there's some really good <coughs> books you need to read about all of that. Um, um, the whole series of Robert James Lee's, which are on those CDs, the Through the Mist, The Life of Elysian and The Gate of Heaven. There's, there's lots of different experiences in there where spirits manipulate <coughs> events on earth in order to get a satisfaction of an emotion within themselves. And, and he explains many of those situations. Yeah. So books like that are really yeah. worth reading. Yeah. And they're on the DVD, the CDs that uh, we've got up the back. Um, and it's, it's under the Divine Truth part, and it's called Robert James Lee's, R.J. Lee's is the author, and the three books were The Life, sorry, Through the Mist, The Life of Elysian, and The Gate of Heaven. Do you actually have to deal with this sort of dealing with spirits and, and communicating with them with, on your part, divine love path, or can it just be, yep, I'm connected to God, and it's just me and, and God, and I don't have to worry about all them, or talk to them, or deal with them? Or... Totally. Yeah. Great. It's all about your connection with God in the end, right? The spirit side of things, you will probably take interest in as you progress, because it is interesting of what's actually going on around you, and why, and how things are being influenced, so it's very interesting. Mm -hmm. But it is not important mm -hmm. for, for you on the, with your connection with God. However, one thing I would like to say is that your guide will help you a lot in accessing your emotions if you can trust your guide. Right? So all of you have God, a spirit who is a guide, guiding you. Now, if you, as soon as you desire God, the spirit who's guiding you will also be a spirit who's connected with God from an emotion point of view. So in other words, a spirit on the divine love path. And that spirit can help you a lot deal with your own emotions. If you want them to, it all gets down to your desire. They will respect your desire completely. So another way to tell that you've got a spirit with you who is not uh, on the divine love path is, do they respect your desires or do they want to get you to do other things? Right? A spirit on the divine love path will always put your will as their priority in dealing with you your free will.